My name is Eric and you're watching Gmodism. Today we're going to format a USB drive. So on the computer we have the file explorer. You can of course go into the USB drive and make sure that you don't have anything on this drive that you need to save. Because when we're formatting this drive everything will be gone. Right we're done with that so go down to the windows flag right click and then you will select disk management, right? So when it's uh, loaded up, you can see here we have all the disks on your system. You can see the size, 14 gigabytes. You can see the name, micro, and there you have uh, D colon. Uh, so we go back to File Explorer here. You can see it's D colon, USB drive. Uh, it's 14.9 gigs. If you check here, it's 14.9 gigs. We know that it's the D colon that is the USB drive. So what do we do? We right click it and we click format. On the first option here, we have the name of the drive. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. So here on file system, we have NTFS, we have FAT32 and we have XFAT. For some very old devices, you might have to use FAT32 anyways, and then it's impossible to basically have a file that's larger than four gigabytes on the drive. So for most intents and purposes, XFAT is the safest and best option to use for most people. But if you're gonna have a USB drive that's gonna transfer documents to very old computers and stuff like that, and the files are always gonna be below four gigs, well, FAT32 is your friend. If you want the max storage capability, and you're only gonna use this on Windows computers and laptops to transfer files, NTFS is the right choice for you. I'm gonna go with XFAT, and the allocation unit size should be set to default. There are different pros and cons of using the other ones, but I have another video explaining that. So then we have the option perform a quick format or not. Uh, and if you check perform a quick format, uh, it will be very quick to do this formatting. But if you wanna be safe uh, with the information, you definitely need to do that. Uh, I didn't store anything important on this before, so I'm gonna do a quick format. So then we get this little prompt Formatting this volume will erase all data. Backup. We already checked that. This is your last warning. We're gonna click OK. And there we have it. It's as fast as that. We can click Explore and we can see this is now the USB drive. Isn't that quite nice? Formatted and ready to use. Please leave a like, that helps me a lot. You can subscribe to the channel for our Tech Tuesdays. Every Tuesday we have a new tech video and the next video might be the solution to the problem you're having. If you want to help me, you can of course join the channel, that helps a lot. This is your host Eric of Jumadism signing out.